hey everyone uh, welcome back on the channel here yeah, yeah, i'm back with dying light to now stop blowing up my comment section uh, it was taking a time because the optiscalers are not yet compatible with the game right now at least not with the versions which are currently on the market released uh, an unannounced version which is a little bit compatible but still that version have uh, hood glitch in the like cursor and the gps uh, that is not yet released but i'll be putting that zip in the description if uh, the version releases before my video uh, uploading or something uh, but the good news is this game has all the frame generation apis decoupled like you can use fsr frame generation xss frame generation with uh, any upscaler you want uh, i'm just here to provide you some dlls and some instruction right now so as you can see i have already installed the optiscaler but uh, that is not working uh, matter of fact you cannot even make your mouse work in this optiscaler uh, you need to select uh, the option via your keyboard after that you can see dlss is not supported at the moment dlssg and that is the only version which is compatible with the hood fix so that is not yet compatible and yeah you need to configure via this uh, keyboard and everything you can try this version it is is optiscaler uh, 0.9 preview 3 version uh, 11 september 2025 i'll be putting this in the description if you guys want to try it but yeah for this video uh, i'm gonna just use some simple dlls and instruction to make the game's frame generation work so yeah let's start this video now all right uh, after quitting uh, you can see two zips on the desktop one is fsr 4.0.2 and one is xss frame generation for all gpu so the game already have X, uh, fsr frame generation unlocked for all gpu but xss frame generation was uh, until now bound to xc gpus only like the intel gpus so we're going to extract uh, this on the desktop then copy all the dll inside the folder go to the installation directory of the game which is uh, here for me after that pHFT then work then bean x64 where the dying light the beast dot ex is located paste all the dll here and replace the file if it asks for and after that extract the fsr4 zip also and copy the dll to the same folder now fsr4 will be selectable in game even without the opti scalers i'm just gonna quickly install the opti all right now i have pasted both zips now i'll dive back in the game and i'll show you how you can use the settings only to select fsr4 upscaler and xcss2 frame generation get dying like beast at just 199 rupees okay back in the game same location let me kill this guy first all right he's dead uh, so yeah anyway i'm gonna go to the setting real quick I'm gonna hide the MS afterburner for now. Alright, so in setting, we're gonna go to the video, then uh, come to the upscaler and frame gen section. So, in here, uh, you will see frame generation, the FSR has already inbuilt, and you can select now the XSS2. But XSS is the good part is you can select any upscaler with it. Like this is the frame generation, I have selected XSS as frame generation. If you go to the upscaler type, you can use any upscaler along with that so we have pasted the fsr4 uh, in the game uh, when we select the fsr you can select the fsr 4.0.2 in game because why this game has support for the fsr4 while at the launch version you can also switch between 3.1.5 and 2.3.4 customs but yeah, fsr4 is totally better so i have selected fsr4 upscaler and xss frame generation via the in game now i'm gonna save the setting and bring up the msi afterburner overlay again uh, and after applying the fsr4 upscaler game will stuck for a few seconds as you can see on your screen uh, nothing is moving but that is actually working in the background and applying the fsr4 upscaler All right, now the upscaler has been set to FSR4 and frame generation has also been activated. Uh, you can check the FPS is around 80 to 90 because I'm looking down. When I'm looking the other way, it will reach around 100 probably. Yeah, I'm recording at 4K. That's why it's like around 90. But yeah, anyway, you can check. Uh, this is the FSR4 right now. Uh, quality is pretty good i think uh, optimization is also good according to unreal engine games this is also developed in unreal engine 5 but yeah there are no 
additional stutters or hiccups i have found until now uh, this is just the prologue section of the game and yeah as i talked earlier uh, you can switch between any upscaler and uh, any frame generation so now i will switch to fsr frame generation along with uh, dlss uh, upscaler this game uses dlss 4 if you want any previous version of this dlss you can uh, paste the dll in the games folder and replace it you can check the dlss upscaler has uh, a way high fps uh, compared to fsr 4 upscaler because uh, this is the early version of fsr 4 upscaler and it has a negative impact on non uh, rx 7000 slash 9000 series gpu so yeah if you don't have an uh, 7000 or 9000 series gpu you're gonna have to take the fps hit uh, i'll also compare that in a second after i kill this guy wait okay so this is the area i'm gonna test it like right now on dlss i'm getting around 95 fps check on that uh, roof of this vegetation area in the dlss and uh, yeah after that now i will switch to fsr4 and check the fps hit also all right we have selected fsr4 the frame generation is right now set on uh, fsr uh, i can use xcss frame generation but for this uh, slide check i will uh, select the fsr frame generation because we have used it in the dlss also you can check the fps has dropped to like 81 from 95 so it's around 14 percent 13 percent fps drop so yeah if you don't know if you want to use uh, this much uh, fps hit you can try xcss so xcss quality and fsr frame generation there we go and you can check the fps is back at 100 again but check out that vegetation section it's little bit shimmering and everything so yeah it's totally up to you which one you want to use if you have rtx for now just stuck to dlss and yeah wait for an update uh, i know this is not the kind of video you guys may have wanted but uh, until the optiscaler get uh, compatible this is all you have to work with now i hope this will help you if this helps you consider subscribing for next upcoming optiscolor mod video of tang light the beast and join discord for cheap games and everything i'll see you guys in the next one so cheers now